So my experience with engraving on glass has been pretty decent. I don't think it's really engraving. It's more marking because the laser itself can't etch the glass, but it's a chemical reaction between the spray you put on the glass and the laser. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm just going to show you what I do to uh, accomplish the goal, which is mark on glass. So to start, you have to spray the glass with something. Um, I know there's, if you Google it, there's ton tons of options out there. I've had my best experience with dry molly lube, which I've uh, gotten off of Amazon, and I'll put a link in the comments below um, if you're interested. But as you can see from the, the picture here is you want to get two or three smooth coats as best you can. Try not to let it um, drip or get too thick in different areas because it does affect how the glass is marked. So um, that's that's where you start. So the next thing is going to go into Lightburn um, and import a an image that I've already created in Adobe Illustrator. Um, and you can do any image editor or, you know, bitmap or I always do vector images just because they're much sharper when you uh, engrave things. So here's just our uh, our family, kind of our family logo. Um, and you have to make sure obviously that you size it appropriately for whatever it is you're putting on there. So you can see I've, I'm, I'm editing it down or, or shrinking it down to um, the height, which is essentially the circumference of the glass that I'm going to be etching it on. Um, how I want it to be, and then I, I choose my settings. Um, and then here I, I, I'd like to see what it's going to look like when it's engraving, which is a nice feature of Lightburn. So um, I always do that just to make sure. But um, on the settings, I have a, a fairly standard Tumblr setting that works for all kinds of stuff, but um, it's 70 millimeters per second at 100% power. Um, and this works for the glass situation as well as like powder coated tumblers, um, painted tumblers, things like that. So it, it seems to work well for me. Um, and then I, I always want to make sure I put the, uh, the starting point in the right spot as well as make sure the enable rotary check is checked. Then you have to go into rotary setup and they're under laser tools. And you need to put in the circumference of the cup, the glass, whatever. Um, pretty easy. Just get a flexible tape, fabric tape, and the uh, easiest way to do that. So now I obviously have the glass in the uh, RA2 rotary chuck. And um, I know that the height of the image is about 24 millimeters. So this is where I'm setting my laser start point to make sure it's centered vertically um, where I want it to be on the glass itself. Um, like, you know, it's not super accurate rocket science stuff here. It's just what do you want it to look like? Where do you want it to be? So that's how I uh, I size it up. And now we'll uh, we'll start the engraving uh, or marking, however you want to look at it. And um, I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing. Also. And here it's finishing up, and you can see it, it looks dirty, but that's a lot of it. it's the paint on the inside of the cup showing through. Um, so we'll get it cleaned up here and see what it looks like. So here's what it looks like before we clean it up. Um, looks pretty decent, nice and clean as far as uh, the, the lines themselves. So now it's time to do the cleaning. So don't mind the dirty sink, but um, here we have to use isopropyl alcohol, a dirty rag, or magic eraser paper towel, whatever it is you'd like to use. Um, it really comes down to scrubbing. Get the alcohol in there and scrub. That's the key. Um, it does take a while. It does use quite a bit of uh, paper towels or rags or et cetera. But um, at the end of the day, it ends up pretty, pretty solid. So for all the scrubbing, this is this is what it looks like when it's all cleaned up and done. Sorry for the glare, but it's kind of hard to show it without a dark background. Um, but it really is nice and clean, and um, it is, it's on there. It'll, it'll handle dishwasher, hand washing, etc. So uh, 
That one's a good one. So here's another one showing our pickleball vibes logo that we have on a lot of stuff. So again, really clean, nice line work. So not too shabby. So here's the uh, end result of the two cups I did today. Um, again, I'm by no means an expert, just trying to pass along what I what I learn. Um, if you have any ideas or, or better tips, please leave them in the comments. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, appreciate your time. Oh, and don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.